you're going to see these are the shaker card dies. So we've got the full selection here. So you've got six in total just at the side. So you can just see it at a glance here and then we'll show you close up just shortly just to give you the idea. So you've got your uh, shaker card dies. So this one here, this creates the snow globe effect. So they come out in different layers, different dies. So you can build upon them as well. You can cut into them, you can cut out. You have a few different options there. Then if we move on to here, you have uh, what would be the traditional Christmas stocking. Again, these ones so far, you know, you don't just have to make them for Christmas time, you know, especially with the stock in here, it could be a new baby, it could be anything like that, just have a play with them. Then coming down here, we've got the Christmas bauble, then moving to the side here, we've also got the, the celebrate the season as it's called, so you know, the, the champagne glass, the cocktail glass, could be a, gl a gin glass, it's entirely up to you. Again, so far, you know, yeah, we're calling them Christmas uh, shaker card dies, but we could be using them for different occasions as well. It's really a lot of the sentiments that are Christmas themed. Then if we come down here to the bottom, we've got the Christmas window that enables you to build and make a Christmas scene when it comes to the window. And then we've also got down here, we've got the Christmas tree as well. So there we go on this one here. So there is the snow globe. So you can see you've actually got, going on to this side here, you've actually got, well, it just looks like Martin and Lair in circles, but these actually create the snow globe. This actually creates the globe. And then down here, you've got the actual base of it. Then what you've got as well, you've got some extras here. So you've got just uh, that one there so that's actually I'm trying to see so that one says snow just down at the bottom and then you've got a snowflake as well but coming up at the top here what you've got is you've got some additional sentiments as well as a few other stamps so you've got the Christmas tree you've got uh, the snowman so if I can just open that one up you've got some sentiments you've also got Santa in a sleigh just right at the top here so this enables you to build your own scene stamping so that's going to be in the background of the snow globe then of course you could put some sequins you could put some uh, any of your fake snow your glitter anything like that to create the shaker element so that's the snow globe one then you've got the bauble here so this one you can actually create two different sets of baubles so if i come down here and this one here so you can see the bauble you've got the outside and you've also got the inside here and then what that does is that die cuts in and you just cover it with acetate but what you can also do is if you want a decorative center then you've got this option here you've got noel just there you've got some extra bits here to create the hanging uh, bauble uh, for the bauble then again up at the top here you've got a selection of different stamps and that as well sentiments as well as images then going on to what is the celebrate the season so again it could be a wine glass cocktail glass gin glass could be many different things as well so really as as i said earlier it's really the sentiments that are christmas themed all the dyes you could be creating for all occasions so you've got your your wine glass you've got your cherries you've got your sentiment you've even actually got a candy cane just down on here then if we go to the stocking on this one here, so this creates really a, a really fun 3D stocking because you've got your, your parts here so you can create the top of the stocking, then these bits here down at the side, so this goes to the heel and the foot of the stocking, you've got a tag down here at the bottom, then you've also got some holly, you've got some sentiments in that at the top as well. Then if we move on to the Christmas tree, so just exactly that, the Christmas tree, you've got the star, you've got the bow, you've got the base, and then coming right to the top here, you've got some Christmas sentiments as well. And then lastly, you've got the window, so this creates and enables you to build a window scene. But again, coming up to the top here, you've got some trees, you've got a fireplace, so you can have it so that you're looking into the house where you can be seeing the fireplace or the Christmas tree, or again, you could be doing it so that you're looking outside and you can see all the trees on the outside where you could be stamping and creating the image. So if I bring these in for you to see closely, so we've got the Christmas tree. So if I bring that right in there, so you can see how we've got the tree there and we've actually got that tree that creates that shaker element. So if I just twist that around, you can see all those shaker parts in there. Then what we've got, we've got like a home decor, but we've used the window. Again, we've got the shaker elements inside. So we've used these sequins that we've got, but you could be using your glitter, you could be using uh, your wee micro beads, you could be using, if you like to do your inking techniques with the rock salt, any of your leftover rock salt that's coloured, you could be using that as well. What about some rice or just plain rock salt for your actual shaker cards when it comes to the snow globe? Here's another one as well. So these really are really fun to make and they're good ones to be using and making with uh, 
young children as well, your kids, your grandkids, nephews and nieces, so again, just twisting them around. So you've got the concept, and then lastly, just with the actual stocking as well, so you can see where it actually builds upon one another. You've got the top, and you've got the heel as well as the base.